Shalom, shalom, shalom to the 144,000 and the remnant that does believe on Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you men, women, and children, shalom. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopefully elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth around me, your fellow servant in Malachia. All right, coming in with another lesson. Uh, this lesson is going to be dealing with, uh, ooh, we're just going to go ahead and go in the spirit of it, but I got a couple videos that I want to play and uh as well as with these scriptures um but it's dealing with the times that we are in <clears throat> dealing with the times of the things of what yahweh bashim Shai has told us about all right from the beginning all right i got this uh short clip from this from the uh elder elder hawad out there in uh north carolina this is his page gms north carolina 777 you know, subscribe and be edified. Uh, he has right here uh, in the book of Jeremiah 28 and 8. Let's just get it right quick. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Okay? And as you see today, the prophets are back, standing in their lot as they were in the times past. They're standing back in their lots and they're doing the same thing over again. Okay? Prophesying against these many different countries, these different nations out here. Okay? These great kingdoms. Alright? And we're telling them that war is coming. We're telling the people that evil is coming. Okay? And we're telling the people that pestilence is coming. Mourning, woe, lamentations. We're telling the people. Okay? And... As the prophets in these last days, we're here to warn our people to let them know to repent from their evil deeds before the evils draw nigh. Okay, so let me get this quick scripture right here in the book of Habakkuk 2 and verse 3. It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. You see, the vision, it was for an appointed time from when it was uh, spoken and written about from back then the prophets seen the visions okay of old from back then they're seeing the things of what's getting ready to transpire the times that we're living in right now okay it says but at the end it shall speak and not lie nothing is lying about the scriptures it is all truth it's living it's alive the words are speaking loud and clear. It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And we're seeing the beginning effects of these things escalating more and more and more. So I got from the brother, uh, from the elder, Salakia, the elder Hawad uh, page, GMS Northern Carolina. Uh, I'm going to play a short clip and showing that the evils, the crimes, all right, it is increasing. They will no longer respond to calls that aren't considered in progress emergency. That means calls like criminal mischief, theft, harassment, and most burglary alarms will all be handled by an enhanced telephone reporting unit. Officers will not respond unless it's an emergency. Also, between the hours of 3 a.m. and 7 a.m., there will be no officers at any of the six stations throughout the city. Call boxes that link directly to 911 have been installed for people to use in case of an emergency. And during the overnight shift, there will be as few as 20 officers to cover the entire city. The chief said today, the data supports that. It's enough to cover the entire city in, in those hours when we have 8% of the time people are calling. I'm confident in the decisions that we make that it impacts this bureau and the city in a much better way than we have in the past. You see, these devils have put the hammer down on certain of these places around. 
Okay? So crime rate in Pittsburgh is about to fluctuate. I got another one right here. Uh, this is from uh, Steve Hope is Alive 23. Uh, no, sorry, Steve Hope 23 on TikTok. Okay? And uh, it says Chicago just became a purged lawless state, just as well as Pittsburgh. It says, holy shit. With no police officers to enforce the law at certain hours, you just told criminals and violent people just come on in. Wow. So let's see what he has to say. It's, this is a minute and 10 seconds. What the hell is going on in Chicago? They made a law now that they're going to put no police from, I think, 3 to 7 in the morning. So now it's a purge lawless state right now. So what you're telling these people, these criminals and these violent people, just to come on to Chicago, commit all the crimes you want now. Do you know what you guys did now? You made it possible for all the criminals to flood your state now. You told them, come on in. We're not taking no domestic calls, no burglaries, no harassments, no nothing like that. You call up and you get a computer to state your griefs while somebody's trying to kill you or rob your place. Disgusting. Democrat states, disgusting. Liberal states, disgusting. They're destroying this country. Unbelievable. Chicago, you're in a hell of a mess. You see, the Americans are oblivious to the plans of Esau Edom, you know, but as us, as the Lord's given us the eye salve to see through all this bullshit, here it is, they're uh, letting in all these uh, people known as, they're trying to uh, call them immigrants, because this is a whole invasion going on right now. You have some people... Uh, uh, you know, some Israelites coming up through there, but you got a lot of these other heathen nations coming up through the border as well, entering to the U.S. And they're bringing already uh, some chaos, you know, some uh, 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 burglaries, some crimes has went up in certain places, all right, dealing with the immigrant uh, crisis that's going on. You see a lot of the news happening uh, out there in New York, so when these different laws get placed in these different um, states, and this is where Esau Edom is just dropping certain individuals off in certain places, this is we we're entering we're, we're in the time of Jacob's trouble. It don't look like it's uh, 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 truly here, but it's here, and it's escalating more and more. Esau is letting this place. He's letting, he's letting anything come through freely. When has it ever been a time like this ever? This is the time that Esau uh, is, is opening up borders. He's passing different laws. Here it is. These people out here committing uh, different crimes and stuff, but they're getting let loose the next day. They're giving them money. All right? So it's going to get to a point to where these people, the ones that are coming over here, they're going to start bringing some havoc. Here it is. We got now that crisis is going down there in uh, Haiti. You see many of them, uh, you know, are coming in as refugees. But who's to say any of those different so-called gangs, Salakia, any of those so-called gangs coming, gangs, uh, coming through, all right, are not uh, 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 going to come over here and just be peaceful. No, they're coming over here to bring chaos. Some of them are going to slip through just like the ones that are slipping through the way of the Darien Gap coming up into the ways of, of, of USA. So guess what, man? Much more things are getting ready to come to pass. I got right here. Not going to go into it. Uh, you already have the National Guard out there in um, New York right now. Um uh, supervising the subway trains. So lock you. Okay, so I'm going to read this right quick. This is from ABC7. It says, 36-year-old man shot 
by own gun after allegedly provoking dispute on Brooklyn subway train. All right, so chaos is starting to happen up there. Okay, even though that's probably something that happens almost every day, but the crime got so bad that they had to, they had to send the National Guard. So now it's going to get to the point to where these different states are going to pass these laws to where they're not going to have uh, uh, any law enforcement coming to those of, uh, you know, just emergencies. Crime rate is going to shoot out of the roof and then blame is getting ready to be played and it's going to have to be needing what? More troops to come in. More troops are going to have to come in. Did they, did they not just pass a law going into... Um, Oh man, saying that these immigrants are uh ah man, it goes into they're able to uh become uh like a lawful citizen uh no like a lawful policeman. Ah man, I can't think of it right now. But if you you if you're in the know, you understand what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say. I can't think of it right now. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. Uh. Let me get to uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 15 and verse, I'm sorry, verse 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. Yeah, Esau, his plans. Okay. The destructions, everything is drawing nigh. Okay. It's coming to a close. It says, And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. Chaos, confusion, fighting in the streets. All this is getting ready to come to pass. Uh, let me get this right quick. And then, um, in uh, Isaiah 19. Okay. Um, this is the book of Isaiah 19. And uh, let's start at verse... Well, let's start at verse 1. But the point is in verse 2. It says, the burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, rideth upon a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. All right, so the point in verse 2, it says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, okay? It says, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and neighbor against kingdom. So a show you is getting ready to be a, uh, a division between the people. Okay, here it is. It says the Egyptians against the Egyptians. That's these everyday Edomites that's here. Okay, uh, here in Babylon the Great, America. You know, you're going to have Jake out here fighting. You gonna have these other different heathens out here. All these people who claim to be uh, a, a, a diehard American, the Lord's getting ready to set division up against them. They have different movies coming out talking about civil war. So this is what's getting ready to come down the pipeline. So let me go back into Second Ezra 15 and verse 16. It says, "For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes." And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. You see, it's going to get to the point to where they're going to have to bring in the troops. They're going to have to bring in more uh, law enforcement. Because the crime rate has shot up as uh, as these people are entering in uh, through the Darien Gap. And, and as I, I, spit, I mentioned earlier, going into Haiti. All right. And them coming over here in t uh, as a refugee. Verse 17, it says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Okay, it's going to be a lot of uh, military here. Cutting off uh, streets, trains, okay, cutting off highways. This is going to be different plans that uh, Esau Edom is getting ready to bring out. He has them already placed in laws. You're going to the Rex 84, the King Alfred plan. You know, you got Project Megiddo. You got Operation Zypher. You have all these different executive uh, orders that's down the pipeline. It's all geared towards who? It's Jake. You so-called Blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians. This is already written in, in, into their laws. That's why we say when this devil come move, you're going to really see the horns come out. It says, 
8 verse 18 it says for because of their pride the city shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid the scriptures talk about it in the book of Jer um, Jeremiah 30 going into what Jacob's trouble this is what the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble as we see in these different videos happening I mean that I showed you earlier and these things are happening right now it's only gonna be a matter of time to where we can ready to see much fear all right with the people and especially dealing with the men so how much more the women all right this is jeremiah 30 starting at verse mm, let's start at verse 5 i'm gonna start at verse 4 it says and these are the words that the lord yahweh by shim yahweh shai spake concerning israel and concerning judah it says for thus saith the lord yahweh by shim yahweh shai we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and of not of peace. Okay? No peace is coming to you. Nothing but trembling and fear. And this is what we're seeing already. I seen a video earlier with this woman that's over there in Haiti. You know, she was crying. She was on the phone. She was live. And she was saying she got nobody there to help her. She don't know where to go. Because you got the chaos happening out there in the streets. People eating on uh, each other. So, all of that's getting ready to come to the U.S. It says, Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Straight fear. The men are going to be in straight fear. This is going to be a time like no other. The men... That the men that don't know this truth, they're gonna be in a in in a in a, in a oh in a uh, what's the word I'm trying to get in a state of shock, okay? That these things are truly happening and they don't know how to be able to maneuver in it because they're not gonna have the light, they're not gonna have this truth, they're not gonna have the knowledge in their mind in order for them to be able to navigate. All right, through the dark times that we're getting ready to enter into. It says, Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, like as if, he, as if he's a woman. All right, that's pregnant. It says, As a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. You see, every man out here is going to be. In a state of shock, surprise, not knowing what's going on, no direction. You're going to have all these women running around with their children trying to find, uh, seek, and, 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 and get shelter and protection. But the men are going to be just as scared. So it shows you what's getting ready to come down the pipeline. Verse 7, it says, At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay? Dealing with the elect. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to uh, uh, have mercy upon his elect. And he's going to save them in these troubling times. But when it comes to the rest of the people out here, they're going to have to suffer all these great judgments that the Lord uh, uh, has already planned out for them. You see? We went into... But Pittsburgh, we went into Chicago. How much more these other different uh places that's getting ready to come? You got the uh up there in New York, the man getting shot on the train. Come on, man. It's it's getting to that point to where things are amping up more and more. The vision was what? It was for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. It's not lying anymore, it's speaking loud and clear. So this is the book of Second Ezra chapter 14 and 14. Let go, <clears throat> let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of men. Put off now the weak nature. You see, many of these men out here, they're, they're very weak. They're weak in the mind. You know, they're weak in their spirit. They, they, they've let their flesh take over to the point that they can't get to the point of, of assessing uh, the spirit. You know, because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh don't want them there. Okay, they have to suffer the great judgments that's getting ready to come. All right, so for those you know who do believe, 
you know, you, you uh, so-called blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians, all right, you men, women, and children, let go of the mortal thoughts, okay? Cast away the burdens of this place because the times are amping up more and more. It says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. The times that we're in is the, is the things that I'm showing you, the vision. This is the time that we're in. We're in the time of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh revealing all the prophecies. We're, we're living within it. World War Three is here. Is, is basically here. The chip is here. Everything is here. It's just everything is lined up. It's only going to take one catalyst to speed everything up. It's only going to take one thing. They've been talking about a black swan event. That's all it's going to take. Just one thing. And we can be out of here within months. Okay. And then if it it, it can escalate even more quicker than that, it could be uh, uh, weeks. You know, that's how fast things can move because everything is already lined up. It says, verse 16, this is why the scripture says that uh, the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. It's going to catch everybody off guard. It's, it, it's going to catch us off guard probably a little bit, but we already know what times we're in. You know, I'm gonna get, let me get that right quick in um, 1 Thessalonians 5. We're not in darkness as the rest of these people are. This is the book of 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Okay? So these things are going to progress. Okay? And it's going to get to a point to what? It's going to come like a thief in the night. You're not even going to know when it's coming. It says, For when they shall say peace and safety... Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. You see? They're not going to escape the things of what the, what's getting ready to come because everything is already lined up. It says, But ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Okay? You've been warned. That's why the Lord has it. Uh, has the spirit on his men to keep putting these videos out to give you the uh, correct warning. That they shouldn't take you, overtake you as a thief, but just know if it does come like a thief in the night, you know when uh, uh, and, and, and how to maneuver in these times because the Lord is going to be with you. That's why he told us to let go of the mortal uh, thoughts, to let these burdens of men let it go. You, when it come time for when that shit go down, hey, now you fully in the spirit. You ain't got to worry about going to work no more. You don't have to worry about paying bills. All that shit going to be out the window at that time. So let's jump down and uh, finish off. Second Ezra chapter 14 and 16. It says, For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. The time of Jacob's trouble. A time like no other. Greater evils are getting ready to happen more than what we see. You know, Elder Hawa, he goes into his news and prophecy. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, Salaki, he goes into in the news. <laughs> and then you got um, in the news. <laughs> and then you got um, Elder Yashawamba, news and prophecies. You got all the other brothers. They have their uh, uh, a set of functions of, of going into news and prophecies. You know, Elder Mawatazak as well, Elder Malcoma. You know, you got uh, Elder, you got all the elders and apostles as well. So it's enough warning that's out there. So this is the Lord giving you the uh, the warnings, and He's giving you the comfort at the same time. Okay, to know that all these things are getting ready to come to pass, but He's gonna be with us. But all the destruction and things is coming for the wicked. That's why we need to repent. You know, stay in the Spirit more often. All right, because this day could come like a thief in the night at any day. And as we see, they, they keep um, Esau, he keeps uh, passing different laws and bills. He's getting closer and closer to where he's getting ready to come persecute the uh, prophets and to where you're not going to be able to hear this word anymore. All right, so get the word while you can because the time is drawing nigh. All right, so hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Akwatim. I want to give our honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekha Kodash, 
double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who have taught us his truth and who rule well, peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere, and you hopefully let. Shalom.